Kevin McCarthy the weakest uninfluential speaker in Congress in history. One of the fundamental aspects of being a great leader is the ability to command respect, lead effectively and have a backbone, and Kevin McCarthy has none of those qualities. No job or position is worth compromising your dignity, principles, and integrity. Kevin McCarthy has sold his soul to the devil, and when the time comes for these devil worshippers to collect, he will realize too late that integrity and dignity are much more critical than the fix of becoming the Speaker of the House. Listening to Hakeem Jeffries's speech in Congress, one cannot help but realize how weak and ineffective Kevin McCarthy will be as the Speaker of the House. Kevin McCarthy had a moment in Congress when he laid the blame for the January 6 insurrection at Donald Trump's feet only to capitulate and run down to Mar-a-Lago to kiss Trump's behind. Trump tries to destroy America's democracy and eliminate the Constitution, the document the U.S. was founded on. Yet, mega-Republicans are doing their utmost to protect a wannabe dictator from being held accountable for his actions. The only silver lining for the American people is that having a Republican majority in the House, slim as it may be, with Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House, they will be able to see for themselves that the GOP do not care a damn about them until there is an election. The following two years will see the Republicans for what they are, and this is the only way the American people will ensure that the Republicans at the next election will be eradicated from the political scene. The American people will realize that the only policy the Republicans as is making sure their rich friends pay as little tax as possible. Prophesy is upon the GOP, and they cannot get away from the hand of God. The Bible says by their deeds you shall know them, which as you know the word shall is absolute. Jesus made a statement concerning making judgments about public leaders, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. Therefore, it is prophesied that the GOP must fail because they are not a good tree, so they cannot bring forth good fruit they are corrupt, and as such, they can only produce evil fruit. Everything has its season, and in the next two years, the flaws and disgusting ways of the Republican Party will be on full display for the American people and the world to see. Like how Babylon falls, so will the Republican Party. God states in Matthew 24 verse 35 that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. The Republicans need to heed the words of Matthew 5 verses 13 to 20 Yet are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under the foot of men. Yet are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick, which gives light to all in the house. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the realm of heaven.